first of all let's make sure the image is in 16-bit now I'm going to copy the layer twice going command J I rename the layer to blur and high pass now I'm going to hide the high pass layer and I select the blur layer I go to filter blur Gaussian blur and I'm looking for values that uh, make the image blur and make it look super smooth but leave the contours in so let's see 21 that's let's see if we can go higher 30 30 is a bit too much for me so I go back to 21 and I hit OK now I'm going to check the high pass layer I go to image apply image now I select blur as the underlying layer I check invert and I use add as a blending mode with a scale of 2 I hit OK now we won't need the blur layer anymore so I hide the blur layer I select the high pass layer with filter blur Gaussian blur and now I'm going to take one third of the previous value which is 7 in my case I'm going to hit OK now I need to invert this layer where's invert uh, let me just uh, see now I'm just going to take uh, command I so it's inverted now I need to go to the blending mode linear light there it is and I add a layer mask which I'm going to fill in black to hide the effect completely so I fill it with the background color which is black in my case and I take the brush a white brush and I simply paint over the areas where I would like to use the effect of the high pass layer you won't see many changes at the moment but that's because the inverted high pass is a very subtle retouching technique let me just paint over the skin a small bit and I think I could also paint over the nose area a small bit and then let me just paint over above the eye okay and now let's see how it was before I'm going to hide the high pass layer that's before that's after that's before that's after so this is how the effect looks 